An exciting update to pass along out of Education Watch 10. Efforts are underway to boost the number of licensed teachers across Indiana and right here in the Wabash Valley. Finally, all of that hard work is paying off. At least that's according to new data released by the state superintendent. News 10's Lindsay Yates spoke with Glenda Ritz. She has more on what the uptick could mean for the future of education. We brought you story after story, taking you inside the crisis as schools scramble to find teachers to fill every classroom. Yes, the teacher shortage is actually real in the state of Indiana. Superintendent Glenda Ritz is familiar with the disappointing numbers. Last school year, the Department of Education issued around 3,800 licenses. She says that's the lowest rate in the last six years. We've had seen a sharp decline in the number of initial licenses that we've been uh, actually issuing at the state level. Until now, take a look at these new numbers that reveal a sharp turnaround as the Hoosier State is reporting an 18% increase. Finally, more students are returning to the education field. So we're starting the starting the healing process of what happened um, with legislature uh, legislation back in 2012, but we have a lot of work to do and I look forward to bringing several things to the to the legislature in this session. A shortage in educators has been blamed on mandated policies. Ritz says the state needs to lift some of those burdens. Making sure that we're having a, a reasonable expectations for teacher evaluation and compensation tied to student test scores. While the new numbers do not solve the shortage, Ritz believes they reflect a strong commitment to the education profession and those at the heart of the issue. I have an education agenda uh, to make sure that we're always serving the needs of the children um, and great teachers is part of that. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Tony Casasia, Lindsay Yates, News 10. This is the first time in three years the number of new teachers receiving licenses has increased. Ritz tells News 10 she is pleased with the results. That being said, it does not mean the teacher shortage is over.